Hello YouTube, real shooting here out at the local pond again. I just got done recording a video right over here. I will link that video up top. You'll see the little card pop up. That's what they call it. You can click on that and you'll see that video. It was a light fishing video where I caught a lot of little bluegills and a lot of bass. They're all just hanging around the edge in the heat of the summer. I caught them on the trout magnet kit and on the little Berkeley one inch minnows. But now in today's video, or the one I'm recording now, we're gonna go for bass. I'm gonna try both the drop shot rig and the Ned rig. For the drop shot rig, I brought the little shimmer shad. I brought these out here before and they caught me a lot of bass in one day. I wanna say it was like six or seven at this pond. On the Ned rig, I caught a big bass on the crawl, but I also caught a bass fairly quickly my first time that I tried the Sakushi bug. So I'm gonna try on these two on the Ned rig. I'll probably put the crawl on first, see if we can get a bigger bass. If we can't, we'll switch out to the smaller lure, the little Sakushi bug. And I'm also gonna try the Shimmer Shad on the Drop Shot Rig. You guys stay tuned. So I decided I'm gonna start out with the Tackle HD. This is the High Def Crawl. This is in, I believe it's Table Rock Crawl. That's the color. Here you can see the little crawl and I have my 1 15th ounce Z-Man jig head. So I'm gonna show how to rig this up real quick. You just want to grab your little craw and it's supposed to look like this in the end with the hook facing up so you're going to go between the two little tail parts get right in there continue pushing up you can see it starting to move up and then just push it out the back and you can just push it in now you can see that's not flush all the way so i could definitely go deeper so you're going to go backwards push more of the craw in you can get out right there about the top of the head and what you want is for the craw to be as straight as can be up against the back of that jig head I'm sorry the Ned rig there you go that's pretty good you can see it's kind of standing that looks pretty good so whenever you cast this out there the pinchers just flap up now we're gonna give it a cast out there and see what we can catch something was following it up and it tried to take it out that way might have been too small for the hook, who knows. Here we go, we got some bites. They're too small for it. Oh no, this one has it. This one has it. This one has it. Very nice, very nice. That bass had it. We felt it on there. Wow, look at that mouth. It looks all red wrong with this bass <clears throat> oh man come here come here quit 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 your flapping very sharp gums wow these bass always have such sharp gums man like it just hurts to grab them there even get a grip on them let me get the grippers I don't know why these bass have sharp gums but he bit the craw you could definitely feel that bite Where's the hook? It's a little bit lower. There we go, we got the hook out. We're gonna let him back in now. Very sharp gums on these bass. There he goes. might be working the lure too fast maybe we have to drag it a little slower in order to get that bite so I'm just gonna let it sit there a little bit maybe give it some time for the bass to really see that crawl and then just reel it in slowly give it some bounces 
let it go back down bounce it again there we go there we go see that line going up you can see that line going up and I wanted to make sure I mentioned it so you could notice very nice very nice put my hands real quick this water is pretty warm do you have sharp gums not really just barely hooked on the side of the mouth so he was just pulling it and I set the hook on him not a bad bass. I'm gonna let him back in now. Let's get the release on this guy. Very nice, very nice. We're gonna use the drop shot rig now. We got two bites on that crawl, which is pretty good. So now I wanna try the Shimmer Shad by Catch Co. This is the four inch Shimmer Shad natural color. This is a four pack. Pretty good lures. A couple weeks ago, I caught a lot of bass here on this one. Let me see. Let me get one out of the package real quick. You just want to get your little hook, your drop shot hook, and rig it in the nose. So here I got the little shad. You want it to look something like this. So just go right through the bottom and come out that nose. Just like that. You're going to get a lot of fish. You guys stay tuned. Yep, we got something. We got something. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, I saw the shimmer shed fly off. Oh, this grass is here though. How can we get him through all this? He must be hooked pretty good. All the grass that we have to bring up here too. There he is. Lots of grass. Oh yeah, I see the hook. You definitely want to be careful with all that grass. Small little bass. So first one on the Shimmer Shad. Let me let him go over here. Not a bad one. He has grass in his mouth too. I'm gonna give him a little toss. All right, final cast with this lure. We've been at it for like 30 minutes now, or more. It's just not getting the bites as fast as I thought it would. There we go. Right on the final cast, you guys. This is a better one. Felt like a better one. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's definitely pulling. Hopefully we can land this one. Keep tension. Oh yeah, he's hooked. And the shimmer shed is gone. Oh yeah, we got him. Right on the side of the mouth. Finally, we knocked out that lure. I felt like it wasn't getting bites at all for a while. Why can't we get this hook out? Come on, hook. The way it's in there, it's kind of like sideways. Let me take him over to the pliers. Oh, he's shaking on me. This one has sharp gums too. Oh no, we got the pliers tangled. There we 
go. Oh no, he is angry. Relax, you're so fast. Ah, there he is. We're gonna let him back in now. He's an angry one. There he goes. It's been a tough day of fishing because it took us a long time to get that last bite on that shimmer shad. So now it's time to put on the Fukushi bug on the Ned rig and see if we can get these two bass knocked out real quick. You guys stay tuned. I'll show you how to rig the Fukushi bug. It's just that 1 15th ounce Ned rig head or whichever weight you want. So the heavier, the faster it'll sink. But you don't need a real heavy weight, especially fishing in a pond. You just want the lure like that. You can choose which side. This one has two colors, as you can see. I'm not sure if all the Sakushi bugs have two colors. But I'm probably going to put the brown side down. You're just going to go in there. You want to make sure you come out on the center of the Sakushi bug, right on the bottom. And just feed it up inside the hook. Just like that. You want it on the center, coming out right here on top. Make sure it's very straight. There we go. There we go. Barely felt that bite. Oh, we are riding him on top of the water. Look at that. On the Sakushi bug. Took us a little while. The bite has definitely died down. Ah, you bass always like to jump around. Relax yourself. Relax yourself. Mm -hmm. Let me get the pliers. There you guys can see, small one on the Sakushi bug. Finally. That was taking us a while. You guys, that's going to be all for today. It was a pretty fun day of fishing. I won't say it was tough. But towards the end, the bite did really die down. So as you can see, in the beginning, we caught the first two bass fairly quickly on the Tackle HD High Def Craw. Again, this color is Table Rock Craw. I hope that shows up on the video. Table Rock Craw. So it's like brown with little blue on the claws. Here we got the little Sakushi bug. This was the last lure we used. It took us a while to get a bite, but we got one bite on it. I knew it was going to work. It always works on the Ned Rig. That's what I used it on. Same as the High Def Crawl on the Ned Rig. And the Shimmer Shad. I want to say we got three bites. Only two of them we were able to land. So one of them did come off. This is where the bite really took us a while too. I fished this for probably over an hour. But we did manage to get two bass. So two bass on the Shimmer Shad. Two on the High Def Crawl. And one on the Sakushi Bug. So I was able to catch them on the three lures I brought out today for bass fishing. Pretty fun day of fishing. Pretty good day. Hope y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.